You and Mom are very well protected, you know. No one's going to find out where you are. Is there anything I need to know to see about Mom? No. This guy's going to kill us? We don't know that. When are you going to kill him? I'm not. It's only my job to find him. Barry's mom had this newspaper. It said you were in a special hospital. Well, it was a regular hospital. And then I was transferred into the psychiatric wing. That bothers you, doesn't it? I don't know. Was it because in the papers it said it was this man, Lecter? Mm hmm What happened? Well, Lecter was attacking college girls, and he killed them. How? In bad ways. He was a psychiatrist. One of the girls was his patient, and I went to talk to him about her. I tried to build feelings in my imagination like the killer had, so that I would know why he did what he did, because that would help me find him. When I was sitting in Lecter's office, and I looked up, I saw a book on his shelf. It had pictures of war wounds in it, and I knew it was him. So I went to a payphone down the hall to call the police. And that's when he attacked me. You and Mom came to see me in the hospital, and that helped a lot. But after my body got OK, I still had his thoughts going around in my head. And I stopped talking to people. And a doctor friend of mine, a Dr. Bloom, asked me to get some help. And I did. And after a while, I felt better. And I was OK again. And the way you thought felt that bad? Kevin, they're the ugliest thoughts in the world. So what kind of coffee do you like? Huh? You like that Folger stuff, right? Yeah. Mom likes that too. When can we go home, Dad? I don't know, Kevin.